couldn't make it with the car to the rest site, so we are walking by foot. so to be we have Okay. What? When I was a child, I grew up in a family where my uncles and my parents loved nature. It's nature that feeds me. It's nature that gives me everything. Moses Arnaitwe. They are calling me the Pangolin Man. Pangolins are so special to me. They are so gentle. They don't do any harm on human beings. They don't damage crops. and they fertilize our soil. They also help us in controlling the termites and the because they feed on them. They have scales which they use as protection, but they are killed for those very scales. In China, they believe that there is medicine in their scales. But their scales are just like these fingernails, the same. People in Uganda also hunt pangolins for bushmeat. When we have reached our office, we take all the needed data, like how heavy, how long, two feet, some scale samples. And then after, we take that pangolin into 
our wrist to enclosure. We go out in the bush. We go to some trees where there are some ants and termite hills. We collect them and we put them into the enclosure so that we monitor if they are feeding. In the morning, if we come and check and find everything is going on well, then we plan on releasing them back to the wild. Don't like this. He's died. He died. could have got some internal injuries, sometimes from the dogs, sometimes they hit with sticks because they try to kill them. We don't have anyone here who knows about treating the pangolins. We don't have enough funding. It worries me a lot. To, to find that the pangolin is going to die because I'm unable to get money to get the car repaired. I find difficulty in running this organization, but it's because of the heart I have for wildlife and nature that I keep trying and trying and trying. It's like I have lost a member or part of my life. Unfortunately, most people don't respect nature, which is a big problem. If people respected nature, then they wouldn't be killing penguins. They wouldn't be cutting down all the forest, drying all the swamps, which is bringing about climatic changes. They need to be taught. The future of pangolins depends on the future people. Some of them think maybe they are snakes, maybe they are poisonous. I think if you start with the children, understanding the importance of everything concerned to nature, you change them from the killing mind to the loving mind. I was at our office 
and then I received a call. Hello? Hey. They called me, oh, Moses, some farmers are having a pangolin. They are going to, to kill and eat it. Fortunately, our car was working, so we had to rush there. I had to do my job of teaching. Look, this pangolin is very valuable while alive. They came to understand, and then they handed over the pangolin to us. Poachers are not necessarily bad people. Some poachers go poaching because of the situation. The fact that we have done awareness, sometimes some people change their mind. To me, I think we need to give them a chance. We need to give them an alternative. We have vegetable garden for the reformed poachers. So by that time they spend in poaching, they spend that time in the garden. So you see, it's just a matter of getting someone understand something and change them and give them alternatives. We will mainly grow cabbages because the cabbages have market. They grow vegetables and sell them and then an income is brought for school fees for the children and at least you go and feed your family. We have over 40 reformed poachers. We organize a ceremony, they hand over all the poaching tools and on that day we give them an alternative project. So it's changing from bad to good. I feel happy when I have been able to help someone. It makes me think like, oh, it gives me that energy to keep on helping more and more and more and more. People in Uganda, they are like, are you crazy? What are you doing with pangolin? You just like them or what? Yeah, it's what I love from my heart. I love it. It is our responsibility to make sure that pangolins don't go extinct. We need to join hands and we stop the poaching, we stop the trafficking, and we create a better home for the family.
we don't look after nature, then nature won't look after us.